Hi everyone. Right. So, um, I'm Sammy. I this is my second class now. I did a yoga class last week, and today I'm going to be giving you a myofascial release class based on foam rolling using a foam roller and a spiky ball. Um, so this workshop is on the Whole Health Project by Rachel and Lucy on the Facebook group. So thank you so much for joining. Um, this video is going to stay in the group afterwards. So even if you've missed the live today, that's totally fine. It's going to be in the group for ever afterwards in one of the modules. Um, so if you feel inspired or if you've really enjoyed this class, um, I've popped my PayPal link in the description below and it's just by donation, five, fifteen dollars, whatever you can afford. Um, and if you can't afford anything right now during this really crazy time, then just enjoy the class. Uh, it's This is probably one of my favourite things to do to help recover from a lot of training, a lot of sitting down from running for everything so apart from yoga this is probably my favorite thing to do i love doing it before bed it just feels really amazing to help release through all the tight muscles and through your fascia throughout your whole entire body um so let's get started if you have a foam roller that would be great or a ball spiky ball golf ball tennis ball cricket ball anything is totally fine and with the foam roller, any type of foam roller is totally fine. And if you don't, and you could just even get like a piece of pipe or something rolled up in a towel, that also really works. Um, so if you're not on live, you can stop and go get it. And if you are, then I hope you have it with you. So I'm going to get us started. We're going to do some flowing with yoga poses as well as holding things with the releasing. I find that movement whilst holding something in a pressure point, for instance, like having it in our quad and then moving our leg through range can also really help to break up any adhesions or tightness that we have in and around an area in our body. So that's another reason why we'll do a little bit of movement while we incorporate these to help release all our sore bits. Okay, I'm just gonna pop some music on. And we can get started. I just kind of want to start with a bit of a warm up to your whole entire body. So come into a four point kneeling position and we're just going to go through a couple of cats and cows. So as you inhale, look up, broaden from the shoulders and then exhale, arch and round, push away. Inhale, drop the belly, broaden the chest, look up. Exhale. Arch and round and push away. One more. Inhale, broaden the chest, expand the lungs. Exhale, arch and round, push away. Now come back to a neutral position and grab your foam roller. You can always use this with a ball and I'll show you an alternative in a moment. Staying on all fours, so we're going to start with our chest and work our way down the body. You're going to start to roll into what we'd call a puppy pose in yoga, but you're rolling into it, giving your forearms a little bit of a massage and then gently rolling out. Breathing, inhale. Continue to roll back and forth up these forearms. If you've only got a ball available, just do one hand at a time. The exact same thing. Coming forward and coming back. And then we'll swap sides each roll. So the benefit of doing this in your forearms is those of us who are working from home and typing all day long, these are the muscles that get really overworked and really sore. Keep breathing as you flow forward. And with every exhale, let your chest sink a little closer down, getting deeper into that puppy pose type stretch. If you find a sore spot, we stop. Inhale. 
exhale, let it go. And then continue to roll on. Start to bias the ankle, so maybe we'll turn the palms out a little to get a bit more inwards. This will also change to how you feel the stretch in your thoracic spine. Maybe part, turning palms up, so you get on the backs of your forearms now. Now come out to the full position. And we'll stay here in our puppy pose for three long breaths. Inhale, expand the chest, arch a little. Exhale, let the chest sink down low. Inhale, expand. Exhale, let it go. And one more time, inhale. Feel your expanding through the ribs and then exhale, let your chest sink down towards the ground. And slowly come back up. And add a challenge to this, and this will be quite difficult for a lot of people, is now we're going to try and bring our arms onto the, onto the foam roller. So it's now onto our elbows, and this is just helping get a nice, beautiful stretch in along here. So you're just going to try and shift forward, rolling up your arms. And this will depend on your shoulder mobility here. So for instance, I don't have very good shoulder mobility, so I could only get about this far. And then keep rolling back and forth gently into the posture. And then back. Go through one more of these. Come back. Nice. Now we're going to work a little bit more into our side of our back. So this is going to look a little bit funny, but it's kind of like you're doing a bit of a shoulder. So we're coming down and we're working through our lats now, the side. So if you lay sort of foam roller or the spike ball right in that meaty bit of your underarm, so put your underarm here and you come into that meaty bit in here. So we're working into what's called our lats, our latissimus dorsi, teres minor, teres major. These are our rotator cuff muscles. And then if you bring your hand up like this, or if you let it hang down, I find it increases that stretch if you just come into here. From here, with the spiky ball, it's exactly the same. You just let yourself sink down. Find that sore spot and perhaps you need to lean forward a little or lean back a little. And then straighten your arm out. Maybe roll up and roll down. It's only a small, subtle movement, but it can make such a huge difference to your shoulder mobility and any aches or pains that you get from your shoulder up into your neck. These muscles are often muscles that are underutilized and taken for granted, but are so, so important for our shoulder function and health. So gently rolling. Again, find that sore spot. Inhale, exhale, let it go. Reaching those fingertips away. Now bring your hand like this. Even if you have the ball, I want you to be rotating your hand back and forth like so, all the way down will feel quite intense and then it loosens off as you come up. We're gonna move through this motion for three, two, and one. Come up onto your elbow, slowly pushing yourself up with your other hand. 
and just lift that arm up nice and tall. Just get a little bit of movement back into it. Let's go on the other side now. So again, we're coming into our little showgirl beach tanning position. Getting again in that meaty bit of our underarm is where the foam roller sits. Leaning back a little or leaning forward a little, whatever is the most like the most area that you feel your tension. So it's it's always a little bit different for everyone because our anatomy is a little bit different. Then what you're gonna do is just gently roll. It's only a few centimeters. And it's just by rotating your torso, kind of shifting it right and left, brings you up and down in that spot. When you find that sore spot, like right there, take a big deep breath in. And then exhale, let it go, and then keep moving through. Now bringing that elbow up again in that bent position and this is where we rotate up and down. Take note of how this tightness feels right to left. It's often quite a bit different because we do find one arm stronger than the other. So you might find your right was a little tighter and a little more intense sensation and your left was a little less. Go for two more, one more, nice. Using your right hand now, press yourself back up to a seated position. Come on to all fours. So now we're gonna work through a bit of our thoracic spine. You'll get a bit of a foam roll through your shoulders, so it will feel really nice in there, and it's also gonna help work on our rotation which is really integral for our whole upper back mobility. And without good upper back mobility, we can't possibly have good happy shoulders. So we need this first. So grab your roller or your ball, come onto all fours. And it's like we're doing thread the needle in yoga. Place the back of your hand down and let it roll away as you hinge through, twisting through. The roller helps you move deeper. Then come back. Exhale, twist a little deeper. Inhale, come up. Exhale, twist. And come back up. You should feel a nice stretch through your shoulder as well throughout. We'll roll. Twisting through the whole spine. Inhale back. Exhale, twist. Inhale to neutral. Exhale, twist. Coming back to neutral now, bring that foam roller over to your other side. Same thing again, we're going to open up, preparing to thread the needle. Hand comes on the back of the roller and then we twist. Inhale to the centre. Exhale, twist. other areas of tightness are sourcing from. Maybe you'll feel it somewhere in your back, in your low back, in your hips. Exhale, twist. When we start working through rotational patterns, you start to target your fascial lines. The way that all your different muscles connect and work together to create certain movement patterns. So doing twist is a great way to work through our fascial lines rather than targeting individual muscles. One more twist, exhale. 
and then come back to the center. Let's go through some cats and cows. Ooh, run away ball. To come back to the spine. Inhale, drop the belly, broaden the chest. Exhale, arch around, push away. Inhale, take note of how this is feeling. Does it feel different? Exhale. Cat. Coming back to centre now. We're going to bring one leg forward. So I'm just going to start with my left. I'm going to do a little bit of lunge work. So we're moving down to our hips. From here, we're not using the foam roller yet, but it's handy to have it here because we will use it in a moment. I just want you to start working into this lunge position. So rocking your hips from side to side, doing little circles, just get yourself a little bit more settled, especially if this is the first kind of set of stretching you've done today. Move your hips one way, move them the other. And then when you're ready, bring the foam roller down towards your knee. So you'll have to lift your knee up. This is where it gets a little fun. We're going to start to roll back, but keep this foot where it is. So now as you're giving your quads a little bit of myofascial releasing and massaging, you're also going to get a deeper stretch into the glutes here as you pull this leg away. If that's a bit too intense of a sensation for you, simply step this foot back further. So as you're rolling, it's not getting as intense of a stretch. And if you want it deeper, you simply step the foot forward a little and then let the knee drop out. It's kind of like a hybrid lizard lunge with the foam roller. Nice and slowly rocking back and forward. Slow is key. Think like you're pushing blood physically up and down your muscle bellies. You can twist a little so you start to play around with that angles. You do have four muscles in this region. You want to work your way all the way from your knee all the way up to your hip so you might need to shimmy that down a little and all the way back up. Remember if we find a sore spot, pause. Inhale, exhale, then continue. From here, we're going to slowly start to shift to our outer edge of our thigh and let this foot move wherever, so your left foot can just kind of shift up and down as feels comfortable for your mobility. This is kind of like a foam roller version of grasshopper. Slowly, slowly, feel like you're moving through that outer quad muscle and just imagine the fresh blood flow coming in and escaping as you exhale. Start to shift back to the centre again. Come off the roller for a moment and step the left foot forward. Now come into our central position and step, make sure this left foot's forward enough so that you can get a full lunge supported. If you find a sticky spot, now this is quite intense, reach back with the left hand for your foot. So now we're rolling and stretching like I mentioned before. Find that sticky spot and then go there. Let the leg go, move again. Find the sticky spot, perhaps it's a little higher up your thigh. Reach back as best as you can. Hold. And slowly let it go.
Now come off that leg. Shake it out. And we're going to go through that on the other side now. So we've worked here. And we're going to work our way around. So I'm up to my right leg now. Right leg in front, come into that lunge. See how it feels in comparison to the other side at the end. This definitely feels a lot tighter for me. Rock around in circles one way. And circle the other way, just like we did on the other leg. Warming up into that lunge position. And then when you're ready, bring that roller down towards your quad. Place your knee on. And start to slide back. Our little turbo lizard lunge. Nice and slow. Breathing through the discomfort. If at any time it's too uncomfortable, just chuck a towel over the top of the foam roller. And remember, walk that right foot with you as need be, just little shimmies, so you can get into that full lunge, all the way up to your thigh, and then back up again. Shift your weight over onto the outer edge, and walk down. And come back. So the more mobile and flexible you are, the less you'll have to move this foot about. Find that sore spot. Inhale. Exhale. Keep moving. Start to come back towards the centre now. Coming all the way. Bring that foot forward again and take note of where you had a bit of a sticky spot. So perhaps right in the middle. Inhale, reach. Exhale, grab your back foot and stay here for a breath or two. Slowly come back. Move a little higher on your thigh, and again, inhale, reach, exhale, grab the back of your foot. This can be quite an intense sensation and one that people do not like to stay in, but I suggest you do to the point that you can relax and then let it go. Nice. Slowly come off back to our four point kneeling. Shake it out on both sides. We're going to jump down to the feet before we come up higher because it's a little bit more energetic on our feet. So we're going to come into a downward dog. I suggest you use the ball now for this one if you have the option. We're going to do a downward dog. It's a beautiful calf stretch and ankle stretch and foot stretch if you come on your tippy toes. So then what I want you to do is place the spiky ball or your golf ball or anything that you have down towards your foot and start to roll up and down the base of your foot. This is where a lot of fascial connection ends at your feet. You can make gigantic improvements to your posterior flexibility, so your forward folds, with this kind of work into your foot. Up and down, round and round. Swap sides. Really working deep into there. Come back into your downward dog and just take note of this. Is it a little bit easier to press up a little more? 
Do you feel a little freer in the whole back line of your body? An alternative to doing this not in downward dog, which you can do another time, is just to do it in standing. So you can just totally be like this and just work through your foot like so. And then like this. And you can try a really cool experiment where you do this. You first forward fold, so save your forward folds like this. Then play with your feet for a couple of minutes on each side. And then suddenly your forward fold will be like this. And it will be so much easier because you've released a lot of the fascial tightness in the bottom of your feet. So suddenly everything from the whole chain up can flow a little bit easier. So that's always a lovely little magic trick to help improve your mobility. Come to a sit back down on your mat. Ball or foam roller. The ball will be more intense because it will get deeper into our little exterior hip muscles, but it's Yogi's choice. So from here, we're gonna come into like a seated pigeon stretch, but then we're gonna have a seat on the ball. So you're gonna look up and pop. And this is where you just roll around in circles on the roller and investigate where you have sore spots into your hips. You can twist one way, twist the other, and really explore into those hips. Again, if you find a sticky spot, pause. Inhale and then exhale, let it go. Keep working through that hip, moving around in circles one way and circles the other way. Moving right through on the top and then twisting around, getting into that side glute area, glute me, glute min right where they attach out on the front of the hip here. When you're finished with that side, come on over to the other side now. So our glute med and our glute min run kind of across ways. Glute med is like this, glute min is a bit more across, but they do come and attach all the way to the front here. So you can feel the tightness all the way around to here. So that's why it's really handy to rotate all the way over so the ball comes all the way to the front here. So let's do the other side. And you might feel one side tighter than the other and that's okay. Be aware of it. Inhale and exhale it all out and then keep moving on. I like to go in nice, big, slow circles, like a spotlight, searching for the area of tightness. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, melt into that foam roller or ball a little bit more and then continue to move through. Rolling around. Finding that source but twisting over and then coming back. If you didn't have time to do anything else but one possible massage technique, I would say this one will make you feel amazing if you have lower back pain, leg pain or hip pain. We hold a lot of tension in our hips and our hips are connected to our lower back just as much as our lower back is connected to our hips. So releasing one can help release the other. Now when you're ready, come off the ball. One more last little trick to use the foam roller. Option one is this way, option two is lengthways, and it just depends on personal preference. If you're going this way, find where your bra strap will generally sit and lay the foam roller there. Hang your legs out straight, arms reach overhead, 
and simply let your head rest down. Hands reach down to the floor above you or to your side. It will just change the way you target your chest here. So whether it's your lower fibres, middle fibres or upper fibres of your pec muscles, there's three segments. And then let your shoulders melt over the roller. melting over the foam roller. Stay here for a few more breaths. And with every exhale, feel yourself melting over the roller, relaxing that little bit more. to a seated position. I just want to say thank you so much for watching this short little video all about my fascial release. Um, if you have any questions to know a little bit more about what fascia is and what my fascial releasing is or anything else that's physiotherapy related, I am a physiotherapist as well as a yoga teacher so please just add some comments below and I will happily respond or do uh, like any questions answered. Um, more than happy to answer any of your questions that you may have um, and then also leave a comment if you enjoyed the class if you'd like something similar or anything else I'm more than happy to do other classes again like I said at the start I've included the link to my PayPal account below um, if you feel like you'd like to donate or if you're able to donate that would be amazing and most importantly I just hope you enjoyed it and you feel a little bit more open a bit more relaxed bit more calm for your afternoon or your evening depending on where you are in the world it's getting very dark here now it's only 5 30 uh, that means winter is coming but yes thank you all for joining me and i will see you on friday where i am doing a nutrition talk so let me know what else you want to hear about the nutrition things too thanks guys